Hello and welcome back to Cookie in the Haydens and I'm Carboot Chris. And today I've got a really important question for you guys and that is, is the bubble about to burst on the reselling of vintage and retro clothing? Welcome back guys and yeah, I think that this is a really important question, especially for someone like me. I've started to do quite a lot of vintage clothing, 80s, 90s stuff, buying it wholesale, buying bulk job lots. Um, yeah, and I've been thinking about this question for quite a while now, a few months anyway. Certainly when lockdown started, stuff like that, I thought, yeah, is this situation going to change for us as resellers? Um, and the reason I ask that question, you might think, well, no, that I mean, vintage clothing, clothing is booming, right? At the moment, it's doing brilliantly. But my sort of question is, it's where we're getting it from. Is it going to dry up for us? And that's because I, I've seen some changes in the wholesalers where I buy stuff from and where most of us actually buy stuff from. And those changes have definitely been brought about because of COVID, because of lockdown. And I think that the wholesalers in the UK have obviously been put under a lot of pressure during this, this year. Um, people haven't been buying from them in the usual fashion. They've had to think of different ways to work. They, um, you think like all the clothing kilo clothing sales that go on across the uk throughout the year there's loads there's several every weekend they buy tons of stuff from these guys they've not been operating even they've been having to operate in a different way they've not had those sales to the public like they're, they're used to um so i'm talking about the main whole wholesalers here when i talk about this kind of thing um They've had to find different ways to work and they've had to find different incomes. And what I've noticed over the last couple of months is a couple of the big ones. So I'm talking about like Glass Onion and a couple of others. These supply to other suppliers as well as to you and me, if we can spend enough money with them. They've started selling direct to the consumer. They're cutting out the resellers like us. That's what's worrying me with the vintage clothing thing. The big wholesalers are cutting us out. And part of me thinks I don't blame them because they're going to be down on, on their income, definitely. They're 100% going to be down. And they've had to find other ways. And they've probably realised that a lot of the stuff, you know, is worth good money. Of course it is. We wouldn't be buying it if it wasn't worth good money. So, yeah, that's the kind of the thing that is really kind of worrying me that these big wholesalers like Glass Onion are now selling. They've got their own website set up. They must be cherry picking stock. Um, they must be because some of the stuff they're selling is 50, 60, 70 pound an item. They never used to do that. It used to be wholesale only. Me and you would get those items in bundles. We'd handpick them um, at various events. Um, but if they're selling those items direct to the public on their own website, and actually I think they've got their own shop as well in Sheffield, if they're doing that, then we're out of the loop. We're out of the game. And I guess then you've got to think, if they're cherry-picking their own stuff, which is absolutely fine. It's their stuff, isn't it? I mean, they must be getting it a tiny, pro tiny amount of money and making the most profit out of it by doing that. Um, but if that's what they're doing and these companies are still offering the wholesale option to me and you, then my confidence is going to go down considerably as to whether the quality is going to be in there that we previously used to have. Um, now, it's not all doom and gloom because there are multiple 
wholesalers in the UK. If you do your searches, do your research, you can find them. There's lots of different wholesalers. Um, also, many of them now offer video picking, which is great. It's a great way to uh, source without leaving the home, and especially in this day and age with what's going on this year. Um, so there's still opportunities out there. But I thought I'd just make this video because of there just seems to be creeping in that the wholesalers in the UK are starting to cut out the resellers and make their own full profit from purchase to resale. And they, they're not, well, they're still selling to us, but they're cherry picking their stock. Um, so does that mean that we have to start being careful about where we buy our vintage clothing? Possibly. Possibly, yes. I'm going to. Certainly the ones that are now retailing their own stock, um, I'd be very wary of buying from, um, from a wholesale point of view. Maybe I'm wrong here. I don't know. I'm just sort of, you know, freestyling here, if, if that's what you want to call it. I'd like to know what you think. Make a comment. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at my notes there. Um there's still there's still wholesale opportunities, isn't there? I mean, um, the big wholesalers, as, as well as selling to retail, are still going to wholesale to us. But maybe the stock quality won't be as much. I'm not sure. Maybe it won't be. Um, another potential option for me and you as resellers is, do we, do we start looking at... Um, skipping the UK wholesalers, if you can afford to buy enough stock in one go and spend enough money, you can go straight to um, where the UK wholesalers buy their stock from. Um, I've certainly researched a couple in Europe that you can pick up from. I haven't yet touched on the USA. The thing is, you've got to spend quite a lot of money on some of them. You know, some of them are like minimum order values of a couple of grand. And that's a lot. I haven't spent more than a thousand pound on one job lot. But is it an option? I'm just saying that for some of us, it might be. Maybe for me, it's not because I'm not. I don't think I could manage that level of purchase, that level of stock coming in at once. But it's definitely worth thinking about. You might be able to. Maybe you've got a couple of employees or something that can work through it. Yeah. So that was it, really. I was just thinking... I've been thinking for a couple of months now, I've been watching the UK wholesalers of vintage clothing, various ones, not just Glass Onion, but there's others, Vintage Kilo, um, and a few of us, um, Pre-Loved Kilo maybe, I'm not sure. There's so many, there's so many, but I've been watching each one of them have quite rightly, absolutely don't blame them, let me just get that straight, don't blame them at all. We're living in different times all of a sudden. They've had to change their whole model of selling. So I can't blame them for that. They're keeping afloat. But then I just it just means that maybe us as resellers, the man in the middle, because kind of that's what we are. Maybe we've now got to think of different ways to deal with the vintage clothing. So, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I'm thinking, where's it going? Which direction is it going to go in? And has the bubble burst? That was my initial question. It's still my question at the end of the video. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Do you sell vintage clothing or retro clothing or do you buy from the vintage wholesalers? Also, have you seen the same as me? Have you noticed that they're starting to retail their own wholesale stock? And what do you think that means for us as middlemen, if you like? That's it. So I just thought I'd leave that hanging over you to something to think about. Um, yeah. Anyway, don't forget to hit the like button if you liked my thoughts uh, or please drop a comment. I promise I always try and re reply to every single comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And um, failing that, we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.